everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Friels at Lexington Podiatry, and today we are doing a PRP. I want to talk to you about what PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, actually is. Um, so platelets activate your body's natural healing process. So you want to get as many of those as you possibly can into an injured area. You'll see in a second that we're going to in uh, inject it into what we call a perineal tendon that has been injured for quite some time. So first thing we do is a blood draw here, just as if you were going to the lab and you're you know, doing blood work there, so it doesn't hurt, just a little pinch at the, um, the site. After we take the tube, which is in here, you're going to see that we're going to separate, we're gonna centrifuge it. So basically this guy here is called a centrifuge mach machine, and we open it up and just pop the tube in there. So after we get out of um, the machine, you'll see it'll be in two different colors. It'll be red on bottom and then on top, it's gonna to be the concentrated platelets, which you think red platelets, right? No, the red stuff is actually proteins, red and white blood cells, as well as water. So we discard that and then we um, take the red portion, the platelets, which is the activating factors for growth and inject that directly into the area. So watch along. We're going to take the specimen container out so we will just press this open it up and then you will see how it's separated all we need is that yellow right there hey everybody we are here doing a PRP um, platelet rich plasma I know you've already learned a little bit about it so what we've done is identify the perineal tendon uh, this fine young lady here has been suffering with um, chronic perineal tendonitis. Unfortunately, she owns her own business, so she can't get off of her feet like many of you at home. We don't have time to deal with this. I completely get it. What this is going to do is stimulate um, and accelerate the healing process. So we've already centrifuged or separated out the body's natural healing factors, and that's the good stuff right here. Um, it's a very, very small needle that we use, the smallest that we possibly can. And it would just be like if you were getting um, a TB test or an allergy test or something like that. That's what it's gonna feel like with maybe a little bit of a burn. So I've looked, I've uh, identified her hot spots. So, and you can see here, there is inflammation just sitting around that tendon. And this is a common area where people have tendonitis or even tears in the tendon because it's coursing down this way and then it reroutes direction. It goes this way. Some of it attaches here, some continues on to go to the bottom of the foot. So this structure is very, very long and we use it every single step we take. So I'm gonna go, we already discussed, I'm gonna go from the top and flood all of this area. And then I'm gonna go this way and flood this area as well with it. All right, doing our jobs. So she's got some inflammation um, hanging around that tendon. Uh, what we're gonna do is immobilize the leg anyway after, so this should heal with that, okay? So let's go back. You get comfy. Now PRP right now is not covered by insurance, unfortunately. So if you're interested in this, contact your insurance company, talk to them, <laughs> beg them to see if they'll do it. Quick little stick, you got this. So what I'm doing is going just a little deeper to get to the tendon itself. Route a little more in. How you doing? Is it as bad as you thought? Uh, no. Feel the pressure? Yeah. So I'm just gonna go right in there, get that. Okay. You're almost there. Doing great. Okay, one spot down, one to go. Good job. And then we get on the second one, and then you're all done. Quick little stick. Okay. So this is also a common area that you can get a tear. Unfortunately, um, this tendon is commonly injured with a severe ankle sprain and a lot of people would think that this will just go away. Yeah, here you go. Just breathe through it. 
And we're almost done. Almost there. How long has this been bothering you at this point? Fourth of July last year. So. Yeah. I want to make sure we get every bit in there. Almost. All right. Great job. You're all done. All right. Okay. So we're going to get this covered um, and then we're going to get set up for cast application because the most important thing is after something like this, you know, we spent this time in doing it and invested in it is we want to get off of it. You know, I want you to be in the cast. We'll do it for three weeks. In three weeks, you'll come back in and we'll take it off, see how you're doing. We'll uh, poke around there. We know your hot spots, so we'll um, test those areas again and see if you're feeling anything. And then we we'll slowly transition into the root and then back to full weight bearing. And so it's so important not to move this tin. We want this to stay completely still. Now, if you're the type of person you can't get into a cast, and unfortunately that was you for a long time, um, this is really her last resort here um, for any type of surgical intervention. We're really hopeful for the PRP. So stay tuned. We'll definitely give you an update later on, maybe about three, three weeks or so. If you have any questions about the procedure, please drop a comment below. Don't forget, sign up for the channel, and I'll see you next time.